What's up everybody? We've got the Osprey and I want to do a tutorial to show you how to get this thing up and running. It's got some really, really cool features. I'll tell you right out of the gate. It's not easy to, uh, you know, land precision wise. Um, I've done it and it takes practice. Everybody can do it and you will do it, but uh, this is no joke and uh, it's, it's just really cool. It's basically a transformer, man. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of capabilities. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. What we're gonna do is cold start it. We're gonna show you how to fully stow it. I'm gonna show you how it looks at night with the wingtip uh, lights, which is incredible, and opening the doors and a few other features. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Button mapping. And we're gonna, oh yeah, the button mapping. So first and foremost, this is, you have to have this. So you go to control options. Okay, as you can see, I've got it saved under Osprey. So you are gonna go to Instrument and Systems, and you are gonna go to Engine Instruments, okay? So it's right here. Increase Cal Flap 4, decrease Cal Flap 4. I button map those, I hold on to X, and I press the left joystick up, to move it and then down to move it accordingly, okay? So you have to have those two. All right, without further ado, first thing you wanna do, turn on the battery, boom, okay? okay. Then you'll wanna go to the APU, turn it to run engage, okay? Next, you're gonna come down here to turn these screens on. You have to click this and just hit it twice to the right. Hit it today, and then also just turn this one on. Today. All four of these turn on, but we don't need to do that right now. Uh, what we will need to do is you cannot turn this aircraft on like this. The blades will snap off and kill everybody involved, okay? So you have to go right away to system, boom. BFWS, what's BFWS stand for? That stands for blade fold wing stow. Blade full wing stow, bam. And then you're gonna go fold horizon, or horizontal, whatever it is. Once these get horizontal, we can start the blades, okay? So like I said, guys, this is the Air Force variant. Comes with multiple libraries. It's just an awesome, awesome aircraft, man. Really enjoyable. So now that that's almost there, we're gonna go ahead and go up to here. Make sure your, uh, rotor brake is off it will be off to start off and we're going to take engine number one and we're going to bring it to start okay we're going to go down here and wait for this right here to be about 68 there's no way to quick start this aircraft the osprey i've tr i've looked at it because quite frankly i'd like to quick start it sometimes the only way to start it is either to do this or to start it actually on a runway, okay? So wait, uh, we have to wait till this number right here gets to about 68 steadily, and then I'll show you the next step. So it should rapidly get there, and we're good, see it's about 68. So we're gonna go back up to this one and we're going to click it and put it into the fly position, okay? We gotta go to engine two, boom. Take that to start as well. Same thing, let's wait till uh, this number right here gets to 68 to 70 as well and we'll move to the next step. I've had a lot of fun with this, guys. Um, there's, all, there's, there's multiple things you can do with it. The amphibious carriers were made for this, the F-35B, Harrier, if you will, helicopters. But this, uh, this one is what basically the amphibious ha uh, carriers are made for outside of the, the B version of the F-35. So it'll get to about 57 and jump right up to 68. We're good to go. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do, click that, put it to fly. We're good to go now. Okay, now we're gonna move this to the front. As you can see, I'm moving those front uh, propellers a little bit. Take off the parking brake. Apply a little bit of throttle until it starts going, okay? 
Now we're going to want to get out of the APU. So we're going to take the APU and take it to stop. Boom, boom, stop. Only after you're taxiing, okay? Only after you're taxiing or it'll shut the aircraft off. So we're good to go. Now I could, I could basically take off vertically right now if I wanted to. There's so many cool ways to turn, uh, take off. I personally like to take off kind of like a regular jet. And I've only done this a, three, uh, a few times, so I do apologize if I make any errors here. I'm actually gonna take off from the taxiway right here. So when applying throttle to do this takeoff that I'm doing, you wanna increase it until, don't, oh, by the way, do not take this thing full throttle for over a minute. You have to keep it at at least 97 or 98. If you have it full throttle, it'll shut down, okay? So we're gonna start picking up speed here. I'm applying throttle. I'm gonna let it get up a little bit of speed. And then we're gonna kind of lift this in this particular uh, takeoff, we're gonna lift it off like an aircraft. So I'm applying throttle. There you go. Beautiful. Retract the wheels. We're good to go. So I'm gonna kind of let it get its grasp, bearings if you will, before I drop the blades and act like a, a like an actual uh, regular plane if you will. So it's really cool, cockpit version's awesome as you can see. This looks good, let's, let's go and, and you can use your uh, rotors to turn it. I use both rotors and my joystick. So let's look at all the Ospreys. This is Miramar, by the way. I'm gonna straighten my uh, propellers a little, as you're gonna see. I'm bringing them down slowly. But look at that, man. I mean, how can you beat that? Flying over all the Ospreys. Check that out, guys. Is that not cool? I'm gonna continue to flatten out my uh, propellers. As you can see, I'm dropping them more and more and more. They're almost perpendicular. Boom, they're fully flat. Now it's basically a plane. I need to make sure that I don't have... So I'm at about 88 power. See those 88s? So I'm gonna increase it a little bit. I'd like to get about 95 out of this. Make sure I'm not crashing. Oh, I'm going up. So this thing will pitch up, guys. You will want to pitch it down. Just trying to add a little throttle. So I'm at 95. I'm comfortable with that. So pitch, uh, pitch down a little because this thing will go to the sky like it's doing now. So you're going to want to pitch down a little bit and then it's good to go, guys. Let's fly back over Miramar. Uh, the doors, guys. Check this out. Let me get... Let me... Uh, aim back towards Miramar real quick. In terms of banking this thing and the actual, um, don't bank it too hard like an F-22 or anything. It can be touchy. So I'm, like I said, I'm both using the rudders and uh, regular turning style here. There we go. Now check this out. So the doors, are right here. You can open them in air. Boom, ramp door and the slide door. Look at that. You'll see the ramp come down. It's beautiful, guys. So you know what that means. We're gonna be dropping paratroopers. And then we got the side door that's open. I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but uh, look at that, man. Really cool features there. Look at this thing, dude. The thing is amazing, look at that. I mean, the videos you can create with this are, are quite amazing. Since this is a tutorial, let's get to the landing. Let me shut these doors. Oh yeah, and by the way, the lights. I gotta show you this, guys, real quick. Hold on. Let me just get my bearings real quick. So I don't wanna get too far from Miramar so I can land this thing. The lights on this thing at night are absolutely insane. Let's go straight here. So, for the lights. Let's go down here. 
We are going to click lights. And then we are going to go to menu. And we're going to go to top. Right here. As you'll see, top lights. Click that one time. Now the top should be on. Let me see if they... Uh, Let me see if, uh, hold on, let me do master control. There we go. So you have to hit master control, I'm sorry. As you can see them, you can see them a little bit. Now if I take this and turn it to night, look at this guys, this is sick. Let's go to the nighttime. Look at that, dude. So if you don't think that's cool, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Is that not absolutely insane? Very cool feature there. One of my favorites. You can do a bunch of stuff with that at night. Let's turn it back to day and land this sucker. So, landing, you can do multiple types of landings. Um, you can basically land like a helicopter. I will tell you, this is not easy, in my opinion. You will want to retract the... Uh, remember, this is not a helicopter, so you will need to retract the uh the landing gear okay and then when we get on the ground i hope you've watched this far we're gonna uh fully stow the aircraft it's it's quite amazing so right now i'm gonna start decreasing power and i'm gonna start bringing my uh my blades up as you see my blades are coming up guys see that now i'm gonna leave them like just about like right there for now it's dropping altitude i'm decreasing power I'm gonna go ahead and drop the gear. It's one less thing I gotta remember. Gear looks great. Now, since we pitched down, it's gonna wanna go down, okay? So don't forget that. Guys, I can't stress enough how touchy it is. I've got the, uh, the power at about, I think, I can't really see it. I think it's at 90, but I'm gonna start decreasing it. And the whole goal is to get those propellers completely vertical as soon as you can. But you've got to go slow, guys. I mean, this is the descent rate you want to go at right here. If you go too slow, guys, it'll fall out of the sky. I've made that mistake multiple times. So as you see, I'm kind of coasting in. Now, I have the pitch down as well, so... I am fighting the pitch. Now you had to turn the pitch down or this thing will want to fly to the sky. But this is a pretty good descent rate right here. I'm easing right in on into the uh, Miramar airport, airport, excuse me. Let's keep going. I'm gonna try, I'm making them more. So look at the, uh, they're almost all the way flat guys. I wanna give a little more power right now. This is basically what you gotta do. I'm telling you guys, if you descend too fast, you will absolutely just go smashing into the ground. So this is uh, this is this is pretty much almost perfect. Now, if you're gonna try to land straight up and down, you're gonna want to make these almost all the way flat. There you go. Just like that. That was a beautiful descent, see? Applying power, decrease, and we're good. Drop the power off the table, hit the parking brake. You're good to go. So that uh, that's basically exactly how you wanna do that, guys. Now, to turn this thing off, another thing you can do uh, that's a really cool feature is the lighting inside the cabin. So you'll click that. And uh, it makes everything glow, as you can see, accordingly. Really cool. And uh, so this also has an easy mode to fly. You basically hit uh, the CDU, mm -hmm. and then you go to aircraft INIT, and then you hit menu to three, and you'll see flight reality easy or hard. I've never tried easy. I'm more than willing to, and I absolutely would fly in easy if it's easier, guys. It's about making great videos and having great flights. Um, it's probably going to be challenging anyways. I use helicopter assists 
And anybody can talk crap about me if they want, but uh, it's still very hard for me. So I just use it. I don't care, man. I'm not out to prove anything. I just want to make quality videos and have a good time. So uh, let's turn this thing off and get it fully stowed. So we're going to just go to the engines. Bam. Take those all the way off. Okay. Now I'm not going to hit the battery just yet because I'm going to want to fully stow this thing. And I always hit the rotor brake to ensure that those rotors stop in a timely fashion. That rotor brake will ensure that uh, the rotors stop at the, at the fastest possible time. As you can see, that was almost instant. So let's fully stow this thing. So the first thing you want to do is the rotor lock, okay? So as you can see, the rotors are moving, and then they're going to, uh, the, the, uh, the flaps are going to move up, as you can see that. And then the actual propellers themselves are going to fold all into one, and then we will fully stow this. It's probably one of the coolest things on the Microsoft Flight Simulator currently. It looks like a transformer, and I just find it really, really neat. And the reason being is because on a carrier, there's limited uh, space. There's, you know, real estate's at a premium. So to be able to do this is a big deal for this type of aircraft on the carriers. So once those are fully down, we're going to go full stow right here. I just got to allow those to finish and it'll let you know when it's done. Just great detail, guys. So many options with this plane. It's just so cool. Now that they're flat done, now we can go fully stow. Check this out. If this isn't cool enough for you, nothing ever will be on the sim. So those will go actually perfectly uh, perpendicular to the top of this aircraft. Just look at that animation, man. It's like absolutely perfect, guys. It looks so cool. By the time this is done, it'll be absolutely perfectly perpendicular, man. It's just an awesome feature. And that's why I rate this aircraft so high. Nothing's perfect in the sim, but this is a really, really quality item. Came with a lot of carriers, so look at that, man. I think we've covered pretty much everything there is to cover on this from a uh, basic tutorial standpoint. Don't be intimidated by it, and don't uh, get discouraged if you don't fly it good the first time. I didn't either. Look at that, man. Is that not cool enough for you guys? And just to be technical, if you really want to, you can go ahead and turn off the battery. So that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys got a lot from it. Um, I really like this Osprey. I, I do think if they updated it, it could be absolutely perfect. It's kind of quirky at little points. But, I mean, it's a with all its capabilities and the quality of this, I'd say it's a 4.6 at best. Or at, at, at least, I meant. Please uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you were able to get this aircraft, it's really cool. The Osprey, guys. Oh, um, man. We're going to have so much fun, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll um, attach the manual in the description, okay? Make it a great flying day, guys, and we'll catch you soon. Later.